Hello, I am Anna Diffin, and this is a let's play of Endless Space Disharmony. When we last left off, we had just begun rapidly expanding our war front. So, building lots and lots of fleets of dreadnoughts and sending them out to attack the various nearby systems. Captured these ones here, and now moving on to these system, this system over here and actually pushing in against Orange, which we are not actually at war yet, but I think I will change that momentarily. Teal, we are also not at war yet, but they are attacking me. This will not stand, and I think, yes, I will actually declare war on them, because they are invading the system, build a couple more fleets when I can afford them, because my fleets are quite expensive. But they're attacking me here, so let's resolve this combat. They have a decent ish ships. Probably a fair match, actually. But I will just look, just go into defensive mode, kill a few of them off, but they don't not actually defeat them. Bit of an issue, but I, I can attack them now. Can't retreat, obviously, because both of us are Sheridan. And I'm able to finish them off on the second wave. Now it's just left to their invasion forces, and they've currently taken 35 turns, so I have plenty of time to kill them. Next, my hero fleet goes in against the pink armies, which they used to be 16, they're now down to th well, 12. 12 fleets here. Quite a few, really around the surface system, which is going to take a very long time to actually crack. This is actually a pretty effective defence strategy, something I have done against the AI, and it's building lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fleets, so many in fact, that they can't kill you all. It's a strategy I've used with the Harmony, actually. I've sent in around about 100 fleets to defend or attack somewhere, and they just can't kill them. So out this fleet here, so I want to capture this system. I won't let the AI have it. No, didn't quite manage it. So finish it off with my weakest fleet. That's done, and I'll begin to invade. And there's currently a 0% chance of invasion, probably because I've only got one or two troops there. No, oh, the mini system is not captured. Okay, fair enough. Let's change that. Let's send in three colony ships. Because why the hell not? I bet neither of these systems are actually captured. I've just been sitting there, biting the edge of my territory, not capture. Which is how always scout. <laughs> just been, I haven't built any scouts at all this game. And it's now beginning to bite me in the ass. Speaking of which. Um, let's usually build a colony ship to do scouting over here. Colony ships are not exactly particularly good scouts because, well, they contain population. I should have just designed a weak scout. It's not very, very cheap to send out and find stuff, but... Yeah, I've got, the, got the population, got the money. Let's send them out and find out what one can do. Let's just, um... Exploited nothing. Yeah, I haven't got many fleets, so it's taking a long time to destroy the AI. The AI love to build lots and lots and lots and lots of fleets. Grownup is also not taken. Hmm. Just three to the denim system. The menu system will be mine, and I don't reckon this one's going to be taken either. So let's get three more colony ships. Get them down to there. Start next turn. What I also want to do is get three more ships over here to start pushing out in this area. It's about five percent. I've probably got a couple of troops there now. I should just be able to finish them off. 
right. Soundly. Excellent. Uh, I'm not war with them. As I said before, they shouldn't have attacked me. And I can't afford another fleet of Albions, they're quite pricey. I haven't got that much money at the moment. Or dust. Also, you know, I now have a Xepharium. So I can modify my ships and upgrade them at last <laughs> to thick two weapons and defences. So there, upgrade everything a little bit. Looking good. Three ships have been automatically up des designed. Blah, 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 blah. But. So it does mean I now need to purchase that last little bit of production in order to get them done. But they will be a lot blocked off now. It's kinetic. And they also generate more. So I build against all things. Extra is now mine. More fully now. And excellent. This is going to vastly improve the kinetic damage and not the kinetic the, um, siege of my of my Albion. Upgrade it to the Geosynchronous Sniper. So cool. <laughs> so upgrade it to that. You might as well upgrade to another fighter. Invasion fighter. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to remove the engines. I was getting them killed. What was potential to get them killed? This is because they move faster than the rest of my fleets. So. We're still near five percent there. Set up my three colony ships over there. Colonize that one. Colonize that one. And colonize that one. Why the hell not? That there. I'm not moving there because I'm not at war with the orange. Let's change that. Because their influence area is preventing me from moving. Excellent. So I found another there. Uh, Heels. So we'll move that down there. These guys can then colonize that. Build that. And then go science. Let me show. Wrong little army here. But nothing compared to my pilot hero. Just without the pilot hero against a stronger fleet than they. I'm just going to go a bit more of engineering, see what happens. 
I take no damage. <laughs> Wipe them out. Love my love dreadnoughts. <laughs> Got quite a lot of fleets there. My people are very unhappy, mainly because I have been expanding so rapidly. So, so rapidly. Continue attacking them a little bit. Destroy them quite happily. And here, my hero is fully upgraded. A five percent chance to invade there. And I think yes, I will get three. Yeah, I can't quite afford three. Damn it. The third. <laughs> Anything else can attack, can it? Actually yes. These guys can't. Move them in there. The Albions. Dauntlesses. Dauntless ones. Oh, just tell them to attack, see what happens. And they take no damage. Brilliant! <laughs> I could upgrade my last ship. I'm being blockaded in there. Goodness. Um unexpected fireworks, blah 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 blah. Terrorism. That is by far the weakest. I get so much dust anyway, I don't care about a thousand. Oh dear, that was a mistake. Um, darn, I'm gonna lose this fleet because I can't retreat out of it. Oh dear, it's gonna hurt. I might be to tank it. Just, I can just about survive it, but I now need to get some more red noughts to really help on that front. Clear them out as quick as possible. Yeah, except I'm now onto the siege ship, siege fleets. But adventure. I don't need, need that guy, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Don't like him, so I'll get rid of him. Keep all of them in the back works for now. We should just hire them. Yeah, I'll probably just hire them. It's not really a problem. Hmm. Really push some of my upgrades here. Yeah, do that. This is good fun. More production science per wa per war, and I'm just about to go to war with everyone, so might as well do that. Percent. That's very annoying me. Colonize. 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 Fantastic. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And let's do production development network because always with the development network, then the science. Let's do that, get a couple of these other places happy. Again, 
good, and I'm qu quite quickly eating through their fleets. Still can't quite afford the second one, that. Net failed. <laughs> I decided to attack. It did knock a couple of turns off because it killed some of the population. Which population is, mo is what defends the most. And all oh, can colonize over here. Terran, Arctic, and huge asteroids. And development. Powering through it all. Kill the scout. Oh, I'm going to lose a lot of dust next turn, so. A thousand, so let's actually start throwing what dust I have around a bit. Dust. So if we can move this in and attack first. Excellent, I can. <laughs> this is a great thing about simultaneous turns, so I can do this sort of thing. So we attack them, defend and offense before. They actually do anything. Use a load of dust. Aww. Oh well. Invade and I attack Nevarius. Deployment. From here. Continue wiping out the last residual members of the Harmony. It's taking me a long time to kill them. As soon as they attack me at turn 18, I think it was? I've been attacking them ever since. But they're now down a suit, but now I'm in second. That's so fun though, they are high. Capture Nos. Not a particularly great planet. But better than nothing. Continue attacking these guys. Slowly but surely winning every single battle available to me. Um, hmm. That means completely useless to me. And I've got everything in a pilot now. Why don't I just leave him now? I'll get that. Barely worth it, but whatever. Excellent more production. No, nothing found in the moons. Attack with only the attacking forces. Still pink fleets around. Oh, that was it. Now, this Sheridan could win. Um, they've got hero, I do not. Oh no, they do the damage but I kill them, use the hero, and can't capture it in one turn. Done. <laughs> Within 
down into the here. Nos forces move over to this one. Something taken. Interesting. Let us go to the various. Build three three colony ships. Send them straight to the ISO system. I think this could be the Blues homeworld. Continually attacking Orange. Again and again. It's really now just waiting for me to win, I think. Basically got everything I need. I just need to expand my fleets a bit more. That glue is one I don't like that one. Because it's only works works on in friendly area. I want one which works everywhere, which is swarm all areas. Research is good. Side right is useful because it's a we use for terraforming. Oh goodness me! Ten for ten fleets there. It is their home world. That's useful enough to know anyway. Oh, I forgot I had two Dauntless here. Ooh, dear. The last ones at Arcat still. <laughs> they still they don't take any damage. Land evasion of 50%. Give it. Yes, it works. Functional. Victory is mine. Yeah. Again, deployment network, Sophia system. Kill these guys. And then the cravers as well. 5% failed. Meh. Yeah. Irritating, but not the end of the world. There's moving there. Zero chance of them actually capturing that. Continue attacking. And hero versus hero. I win. Let's begin the invasion. actual invasion ships rather than just the siege vessels over there. It's a nice one. Reduce buyout costs. <laughs> Very handy considering I just buy out everything. Ship attack on Empire is nice. Cephia system is still not captured. We need to move over to on the Arcub. Move to the Phaeton system. We're still moving over there. No chance of capture. I'm sending a scout out around me. some more of these honey vessels. Excellent. The victory is mine. And here again up another level. Which I don't know, I'm just not going to put anything into him. 5% uh, possibility. Failed. Oh well. Okay, 
Re engineering and defeat them there. Keep on attacking, destroying all their fleets. Actually, just got invasion fleets left. Very good. a chance to capture, which I do. More development networks for the increased dust production. So what you can actually just start spending. Just buy out everything because I can. Buy out, buy out. So much money. We just build another fleet, actually. No, I spent too much. Bye, 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 bye. useless to me. Give us some more improvements. And next turn. They're trying to besiege the Foden system. It's actually tunneled comms. Then moves everything down to three, actually. Do that, then get over to here. It's a lot of science. <laughs> Internal comms, and negotiations. And then With that, then that, that, and that. Yeah, do that way. You don't listen to the fleet. And then select the siege vessels <coughs> and mince and repeat. Kill. 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 Is it done? There's one fleet which can attack. Ah! What's my diligence? What's my diligence? Let's go and upgrade them forever. Not surprising. Irritating, nevertheless. One of the few ships I've actually lost in this game. Tuck here. Yeah. Excellent, we'll get up to level 6. Three turns to capture. Twelve turn 
command to, to invade, capture, command invade. Kind of forward invasion there. Do though, I'll get another fleet here. Another fleet there, and turn. So my empire is getting quite large now. What is my second in knowledge? Probably below the Sophons. And that who are first. First in FID, which is great. Economic victory 17%. <laughs> Expansion of 38% and a 38% of everything. So I own quite a bit. Hmm. I'm taking Pavo. Luckily, I can stop that. Instantly. Hmm. No, refuse. I'm eternal war, I can't cease fire. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Lot of silence there. Lots and lots of production complete. Keep clearing out these forces. And scout, because why not? And a 50% chance to invade. Which fails. Done. <laughs> now what well, happens. So what happens when you don't send enough fleet in to guarantee victory. Yeah. I'll finish off these guys. So I'm going to invade. And capture instantaneously. Science production, first course, deployment network, always the deployment network first. Invade Yukima instantaneously. And colonize this new system. network, of course, and then science. This way, and get some more stuff, just buy it all out. Pavo is going to be my my beach head over in this system. Hmm, Tart Green is not doing well. <laughs> That's a score of about ten twenty or something. Hmm. Phaeton is under attack. I think with pink almost out of the running, blue lose on its last legs. I think that's a good place to leave off. So, until next time.